Vibes are saying much of today is going to be nice, but a lot of it's going to depend on the time of day and where you happen to be. Mm -hmm. Especially to the west and to the east of Boise, we could see some active weather. Mm -hmm. Might even see something move through the valley. Well, it's going to be active kind of the next few days. Tomorrow actually looking pretty good, but uh, we could see some thunderstorms develop uh, this afternoon and also uh, more active weather as we head into the weekend for Armed Forces Day on Saturday, looking for a high of 68, mostly cloudy skies, about a 40% chance of rain and some afternoon thunderstorms. That certainly isn't the only day. Today has the possibility of being an active weather day later on this afternoon in the form of some thunderstorms. Nice weather on Wednesday, but thunderstorms in the forecast Thursday all the way through Monday. There's a live look outside. We have some high clouds out there this morning, 48 degrees and calm. Humidity at 77% feels like temperature at 48. There's our cloud cover showing up on our satellite map this morning, but some breaks in those clouds. Much of the day will be mostly sunny to partly cloudy, but we're expecting some more active weather, kind of like what we saw yesterday. We had uh, quite a few large hail reports down there in Lakeview, Oregon. Also some in uh, Eastern Oregon. I'll tell you more about those in just a moment, but also some severe weather reports in the Magic Valley, a severe thunderstorm wind gusts. Flipped a trampoline over a roof and also the, the roof off a uh, building there, a small roof in Jerome yesterday from a thunderstorm wind. Also some hail in Buell. They had a spot of reported frequent lightning and pea-sized hail. Also a thunderstorm wind gusts of 40 miles per hour over in eastern Oregon. Some more large hail. In fact, we had a severe thunderstorm warning for a time for Harney County and uh, one inch hail. And also that hail knocked uh, branches off the trees one and a half inches in diameter. That's a pretty big sized branch. And that's large hail that could do that. Here is our satellite radar map. We have a low pressure system eventually that will track to the southeast, then eject to the northeast as it does. It could give us some uh, wild weather with the heating of the day. Storm Prediction Center has us under a marginal risk for severe thunderstorms. So this area right here is under the gun. That's where we could see some of the strongest thunderstorms develop later on today. Here's our future cast. As we move through the time steps, you can see some thunderstorms also developing according to the computer model here in Eastern Oregon, Hardy and Malheur County, Baker County also. We'll see some and uh, then we'll start to clear on out tomorrow looking pretty good. Just a few clouds moving in later in the day. But as we head into Thursday, the next low pressure system starts to move in and affects us with some scattered showers and some thunderstorms. It looks kind of active all the way into the weekend. Here's what we're looking at as far as rainfall accumulation. Not a big amount expected for Boise. There's the first round and then we'll see a break on Wednesday and then on Thursday the next round of showers start to move on in. So these locations are the north most favored for the rain. Computer model says John Day could pick up over an inch of rain over the next couple days. Rain and thunderstorms. Gusty thunderstorm winds also hail a possibility in the Twin Falls area. Mostly cloudy rain and thunderstorms developing this afternoon for Sun Valley. Rain and thunderstorms, gusty winds and small hail possible for McCall and also for the western end of the valley, mainly in the afternoon. Much of the day, though, will be OK. Partly cloudy, the mostly sunny, but thunderstorms developing in the afternoon and evening hours. Partly cloudy rain and thunderstorms, gusty winds and small hail possible for Boise. Then Wednesday, there's our break. But guess what? That next low starts to affect our weather. Looks pretty unsettled as we head into the weekend, a little bit cooler by Saturday, but uh, fairly seasonable temperatures. Just, uh, I'm not saying it's gonna rain all these days, all day, but uh, definitely some thunderstorms in the afternoon. That's a look at weather, back to the desk.